And the final act of the 2023 season is at hand. What a spectacle in Las Vegas. We're off in Super Bowl 58. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. The KC offense set to go, led as always by the gunslinger, a former MVP in this league, it's Patrick Mahomes. And no doubt he's living out a dream right now. He's had dating back to his first days of playing football as a kid, but he certainly can't get lost in the moment right now. There's still a Super Bowl to be played, and his offense, they're looking to him to be their leader. You can take it all in when it's over. Right now, you've got the biggest game of your life to win. Right to the air is Mahomes. That's complete. It's Travis Kelsey. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. A good safe pass there right off the bat. That's almost a rhythm play. That's what we like to call it. Get them into rhythm early. Something safe. Something they're confident about. Something they feel good. And once that's completed, then you just keep moving from there because the confidence elevates. Ball on the 39. Here's second down and one. Now Mahomes. He'll get this complete to Kadarius Tony. Seven yards on the quick slant and a first down. This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook, but oh so effective. Nice completion there. Keeps the sticks moving. Now here's a fake on the jet sweep as he'll go instead with Pacheco. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Hit and dropped behind the line by Dre Greenlaw. Overall, I'd have to say that was just really good team defense because to me, you can't pin that one on the running back. He had no shot there. He had a man in his face immediately. So the first down run lost a couple. Now they come up second and 12. Working from the gun, Mahomes. That's complete to Tony. So the completion results there in nine yards. And this will wind up being a third and three. They kept the receiver in the short field, but that let his quarterback get the ball quickly to him before either guy in double coverage could react. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. Mahomes looks to throw on third down. Caught, Kelsey, left side. And he'll be tackled about two yards shy of the line to gain. A one-yard pickup leads to fourth down. And the pocket's been protected pretty good here so far on the opening drive. We always talk about confidence in runners and catchers and quarterbacks. How about the protection detail? They're not allowing anyone near the guy throwing the football. On fourth down, Tommy Townsend to punt for Kansas City. And this will be out of bounds. Now it's a question of where they'll mark it. And they'll say it crosses at the 11-yard line. So here are the 49ers now with a long field ahead. Leading them out, someone who took the league by storm last year is the most famous Mr. Irrelevant ever. From Iowa State, it's Brock Purdy. And there are a lot of quarterbacks who had terrific careers. Think about guys like Phillip Rivers, Randall Cunningham, Dan Fouts, Warren Moon. But they never got to a Super Bowl. Yet here he is in his second NFL season already getting his chance. And we harken back to Dan Marino. Another superstar made it in his second year, lost the game, and never made it back again. Eight yards on the pickup, and now they'll have some options on second and short. Well, you often say that sort of opens the playbook now, second and short. What do you think, early shot here? I like where you're going. Obviously, we've been together for a while because you know me. I want to take that shot early and loosen things up. Second down and right back to McCaffrey. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. They'll lose a yard on the play, so now they need three yards on third down. We all have habits. We can be somewhat predictable, and you know me pretty well on second down and short. What I like to see. Play action. Yeah, without a doubt, I thought that was a great spot to call it. 
Instead, didn't go their way, did it? No, defense sold out for the run. Worked out well. Here's third and three. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. And he gets the first down here as he's taken down at the 24. Able to get what they need to keep the drive going with a six-yard pickup on third down. How about that there? No frills, no additives, right? Nothing crazy. Just find a way to pick up the first down. A nice run right there. And they'll go with a ground attack here. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Next to receivers, they'll spread the defense out, and they were able to come through with a slashing run. But to that point, it's going to be interesting to see the personnel chess match as this one progresses. Yeah, you're exactly right. Can they continue to create running lanes out of passing sets? And if so, it's going to be a long day for the defense. Throwing here, Purdy. That's Samuel, caught left side. And Debo going to have a Niners first down as he'll get this up to the 39. It's a pickup of six. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Purdy now to throw. It returns it right back to Samuel. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Well, from their point of view, this game could not be starting out much better, could it? Force a punt on defense, and now they're moving it crisply on offense. Crisply, I like that. Like yeah, that? yeah, moving it very, very well. Looks like the defense on their heels a little bit. You put a score in here, long way to go, but you're right, that's a heck of a start. Yeah, and I think this is where the play caller is looking at his play sheet and saying, to have that dagger play, to have that play and just finish him off right now, because I think they'd love to gain that big advantage early. Okay, okay. Third catch for him on this drive alone, and it'll give him a first down. That brings us to the end of one in Super Bowl 58. Much more to come from Las Vegas after this. Nothing, nothing, our score. The NFL on EA Sports continues right after this message. So now first and 10 in Chiefs territory at the 39-yard line. Well, they'll run it here on the jet sweep. Oh, and this one may need to go back to the drawing board. He's going to be swallowed up right away. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. When a drive goes this long, you have to give a lot of credit to the guys up front, those big fellas, because the offensive line is putting something together that allows them to continue to control the ball. I know a lot of people think they get fatigued on a long drive. Actually, a lot of times the reverse happens. They actually get energized because they're controlling the ball and they're the ones dictating to the defense. And this throw incomplete. And the defender all over at that time, and it's going to lead to third down. My first thought is surprise because that's one of the better tight ends around, and I've seen him pull in balls like this before. But how about a little credit to the defense forcing that incompletion? Well, they need to get to the 29 if they want to pick up a first here on third down. Purdy looking to throw. Uh, he had him. He was open, but he couldn't get it to him. It's incomplete. Not sure what happened out there, but it looked like the timing was a little off on that throw. Well, you know I'm a defender, so what am I going to say? Great defense. And darn right. They did something to disrupt that timing. So coming on now is the field goal unit. They're going to try for three, and he'll need all the leg he's got here. This from 54 yards away. And his kick is good. And the 49ers take a 3-0 lead.
so they're able to end that drive with three points in this one possession ball game. And ideally, you want to end every drive with points. Most quarterbacks would tell you, let's end it with a kick, right? A PAT, that's number one. Field goal you'll take, punts, you really don't want to do that. In this case, they'll take the field goal and get prepared for the rest of the game. So here's Moody back out there now to send this one away. Here's Richie James on the return. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. Now the Chiefs offense, they get ready to head on the field. This one a little slow to get cooking. Just a 3-0 scoreline as they begin with a first and 10. now to throw complete the tight end Kelsey and they get him down but not before he takes it across the 40 yard line and they may want to go back to that one first play of the drive good for 15 and a first down a lot of tight ends just use their size and their strength try to occupy some space and kind of body people away and catch the football but not this guy he's a refined route runner makes me wonder if he took some dance classes in his background with his footwork One play has him up past the 40 already, and another first and 10. Now here's Mahomes. Escaping the pressure right. And he has a big gain inside the 40 before being dropped. Able to find a lot of empty space there, picking up the first down at a 21-yard gain. This guy's proven himself to be one of the best in the NFL. He brings an added dimension to their offense, his ability to read defenses, and know when he's able to pull it down and take off and go. So from inside Niner territory now, this is first and 10 at the 38. Throwing now is Mahomes. A throw here right sideline falls incomplete. Nice progress down the field was halted by that incompletion. They could try for some safe yards here to get things moving again or keep throwing it and pushing it downfield to try and pick up bigger yardage. Second and ten. To throw, it's Mahomes. Oh, this one complete, it's Rasheed Rice. Nine yards, and that leaves him just short, so it'll be third and less than a yard. Partney sold the go route really well. Thought he was going deep, then curled it back inside for a nice completion. DBs love when they pump the brakes, don't they? Yeah, that's really, that's really a whole <laughs> cool. lot of fun. It's almost like you said, listen, if you're going to sell the go, just go. Well, let's see who's faster. They'll try for the first with Pacheco. And he'll be brought down at the 27-yard line. By the skin of their teeth, they are able to convert on third and inches. I don't know about you, but that almost felt like old-time football there. Third and two is not necessarily just a running down anymore. A lot of times they want to throw the ball. They went back to the roots and powered forward and got the first down. First and 10, it's Edwards Alaire with it. Down he goes at the 23, a pickup of four. I feel like I can see what he was thinking on that carry. He wanted to follow that big tackle through the hole. 
Ended up only getting four yards on the carry. I think he had designs on that one being bigger. Now a second and six. Mahomes going to throw. This one to the right, caught by Valdez Scantling. Mahomes to MVS there for the Kansas City first. from the red zone now, Mahomes. That'll be caught by Rice. We have reached the two-minute warning. In fact, just under two minutes to play in the opening half of this year's Super Bowl. Here's a second and five. Shotgun snap to Mahomes. It's Kelsey on the ground. They'll wind up getting just a yard out of it. And now it's third and four. As a defense, you're more balanced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. Pass incomplete, but the flag in the backfield, and this might be a roughing call. So instead of forcing the field goal, it'll be first and goal. Yeah, the force was trying to make something happen that just didn't need to, right? I mean, the plays happen, let it go. It's over. Instead, it creates a penalty. So a critical mistake, roughing the passer. Now it's first and goal. Again, they'll throw with Mahomes. Feeling the pressure here and taken down. A sack back at the seven. And Nick Bosa so quick on the outside, he gets in there to bring him down. Well, there's still time to rectify this situation because the silver lining, they took a sack on first and goal. But that close to the goal line, that still definitely hurts. Now from the seven, here's second and goal. Here's Mahomes to throw. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. In the red zone, precision is the watchword. If the throw's a little too early, too late, maybe off a little bit, going to be a good chance that any attempt is going to be a contested one, and that one falls incomplete. Third and goal, a big play in this Super Bowl. Looking to throw is Mahomes. And he's going to go down. Sacked back at the 13-yard line. The 49ers now going to use the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. So on fourth down, Mahomes off. Harrison Butker on for the Chiefs' field goal. From the left hand, should be a fairly easy one here. Butker's kick here is good, and that will tie us at 3-3. Three, three. They had it first and goal, three attempts, couldn't get it in, so they settle for three. Yeah, the field tends to shrink a little bit the closer you get to the goal line, doesn't it? It doesn't sound right. It sounds a little counterintuitive. But you run out of space to run the deep routes, so they can just sit on the shorter stuff if you're going to throw it. If you want to run it, there's just not as much space. They end up having to take three there. Field goals all we've had so far. 3-3 three, three now as the kick is away.
And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. Well, the Niners going back on offense now late in this first half. And we'll see what they want to do. 45 seconds is all that remains until the break. to throw on first down here. The first catch of the game for George Kittle. Now San Francisco going to call their second timeout as they'll stop it with 40 seconds remaining in this first half. From the 35, back to work on second and four. Back to throw, Purdy. The same target, same result. It's Kittle. And he'll be tackled right on the chalk of the 45. A gain of 10 and a 49er first down. For a tight end, he's got good straight line speed. And on that route, he's often the guy that gets overlooked. Nice job there finding him in stride for really good yardage. And now the Niners going to signal for their third and final timeout. And with halftime on the horizon, they'll be out of timeouts from here forward. Here's Purdy on first and 10. Over the middle complete. That's Jennings. Calling a gain of three on the play. And it'll be second down. So we've come upon one of the greatest performances of the year usually, but not here. Halftime of the Super Bowl is skipped, and we are on to the second half. These two teams sat through a longer than usual 30 minute wait, but we're back in action here in this Super Bowl. And we will not have a run back here as the second half starts with a touchback. The 49er offense set to go to begin quarter number three. And through one half at least, this Super Bowl has been everything it was cracked up to be all tied. What's your key for them, Charles, in the second half? Simplicity, partner, because in the Super Bowl, with the extra time at halftime, I think some staffs get caught up in trying to design too many things. It's all tied up. They have to remember what they did to get here, put that back into play here in the second half, and I think they'll be all right. And they'll run it here. They'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. And that looked like some pretty easy yardage there right up the gun. And he's a guy that has some height to him. So when you don't have to drop a shoulder or create or get through contact or trash, it makes it a lot easier to stay upright, see the field, and make a run as we just saw there. And they run the option on second down. Give him four yards as he does it himself, and it's a first down. So that was all you're looking for on a play like that. Get the first down and keep the drive moving. Yeah, it just looked to me like he just said to himself, I've got this. I'll take it. I'll pick it up, and let's keep moving. Get the first down, get a new set, and let's start over. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Purdy will set up to throw it here. Open man is Samuel, complete. 
Give him a gain of five on the completion, and it's second down. Simple drag route here, lined up out left and tried to work his way back across the field. You probably saw me twitch there, partner, because I think he wanted the ball a little bit sooner. By the time he looked it in, defender was right on him. From the 41, here's second and five. On the toss, they run wide side with McCaffrey. And he'll get about three here up to the 44-yard line. I'd say they've got to find a way to get him going. He's such a big part of their offense. I wonder if they might throw it a little and come back to the run. Anything, because you're right. He's pretty much been completely neutralized. Third and two. Purdy. Connects with Kittle underneath. And he is going to have a 49ers first down. At least it appears that way. And he got it by maybe the length of a football. Got to say, I was a little surprised to see him, Charles, come out in the shotgun on third and less than a yard. Yeah, but the way the NFL is nowadays, we hardly ever see anyone really run for it on short yardage. So they're going to throw the football more times than not. That was a nice, easy rhythm throw right there. And they pick up the first down. Couple of first downs to kick off the drive. Here's first and 10 up at the 46. From the shotgun now. Here. And it's a fumble. And it's picked up by the Chiefs. And they'll start out with great field position at the 47-yard line in enemy territory. So this game tied at the half. And if you wondered who would come up with the first big play in this third quarter, we have our answer. Well, in basketball, you know how they tell you to have active hands defensively? I think the same thing applies here. Nice job there, prying the ball free. And now the guys have a chance to take the lead if they can put something together. The beauty of doing it in football, you don't get called for a foul if you hit their arms. They'll bring Tony in motion left. On first and ten, here's Pacheco. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. You've got to be impressed by that defensive front on reps like those. They were not being moved off the line, kept their shoulders square, and gave their teammates time to fight to the ball and limit that gain. This is second and eight. He'll drop to throw. He'll find his running back, Edwards Alaire. No gain there, and it's going to bring up a third down. That's a nice job defensively to make sure everyone was accounted for because ordinarily, you pick up the guys downfield, and sometimes you forget about the running back. In this case, they did not and dropped him for no gain. And the line to gain here is the 37 on third down. Back to throw here. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he will have a Chiefs first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. We often hear the phrase sure-handed tight ends, and he certainly fits into that category. Plus, he's got a quarterback who knows to look his way when they need a big pickup. And on this play, he finds it for the first down. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. He'll look to throw. Open on the left side, this is Valdez Scantley. And he's gonna get this down near the 20 yard line. 10 more there and another first down. I think that's a big pickup for a first down because when you run a drag route against zone, you're sometimes asking for trouble because you might run into a defender. Yeah, well there they ran into a first down, executed it to perfection. Still in search of their first touchdown of the game, but they're on the move. First and ten. They'll look to throw again. Another catch for Valdez Scanlon. So give them five yards there on the pitch and catch. And it's second down.
Edwards Alaire now off the option. And they'll get him down right around the 16. Just a couple on the pickup there, and now it's third down. Not the kind of game that will go absolutely crazy for, but it's the kind of game that you need to have when you're running back in the NFL and Clyde Edwards Alaire with that low center of gravity and strength. He's going to get those tough, gritty yards for you when necessary. They go play fake. Mahomes. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And the Chiefs are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. And in a lot of ways, that catch is expected. Red zone presence, and that one was realized there. You've got to find your tight end in that situation. We are through three quarters of play here from Allegiant Stadium in Super Bowl 58. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. And there's just one quarter that remains in this edition of the biggest game of the year, the Super Bowl, as we get set for the fourth quarter. A field goal could get them the lead, but it might not be enough here as they come up on first and goal. From the gun, it's Mahomes. This will be caught at about the five. And from the nine, they get this to the five-yard line. And the ball smack dab on the five-yard line. Here's second and goal. They'll set up to throw. Being chased out left. And he takes this into the end zone for a Chiefs touchdown. Patrick Mahomes, a five-yard touchdown run. And the Chiefs have broken our tie and have taken a fourth-quarter lead. Well, I think we both got to thinking in the team that scores the first TD may be the one to win this football game, and here we go. Our first touchdown, and it comes in the fourth quarter. Yeah, and it's a testament that both of these defenses were able to hold the line this long, but now on the other side of the field, they've got to be thinking if they got it done, we should be able to punch one in ourselves. After the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. And the 49ers settling in for their next drive. And it's quickly becoming now or never time in the Super Bowl, trailing by seven here in the fourth. A pivotal, pivotal moment in this football game. Purdy going to lead the 49ers to the line. First and 10 at their own 24. They'll bring a receiver in motion left. And he'll get it here on the jet sweep. And that is not fooling anyone. He never had a chance to turn the corner there. And they'll go backwards right away. And that play stopped behind the line by a corner. Trent McDuffie getting in there. And that's the danger, Charles, of running plays like this for your wide receiver. They can hit big or they can be duds. Yeah, you're exactly right about that because if they're forced to try and go around defenders behind the line of scrimmage, sometimes you can give yardage in order to gain it. But in this case, they gave yardage and didn't get it back. First play of the drive goes the wrong way. Here's second and 12. Now Purdy. They'll set up the screen to McCaffrey. And he's able to get up here to the 26. You give him three on the screen. He couldn't break free, and it's third down. Good reactions there defensively. That screen was a little slow in developing, and they shut that one down with little gain. 
The offense on third down tonight, they've been okay. Two for three thus far. This is third and eight. Here's Purdy. And the Chiefs are going to get him. And that'll bring up fourth down on a big sack with a loss of five. And they weren't in zone coverage. They were in man, and each man did his job. And that looked like vintage, old-school coverage, didn't it? Man coverage reminded me of an old Raiders team. They had a Hall of Famer at one corner and a Defensive Player of the Year at the other, and they just locked people down. Here comes the 49ers punter now as he's on to punt for the first time this afternoon. So holding there on the return, and that'll back him up to start the next drive. Yeah, that's a pretty easy call right there, partner. I think when the officials look in their manual and see the expression, jersey getting pulled, that's a flag coming out every time. The holding penalty and negates a good return as they'll start just past the 20. Pacheco gets it up the gut. Up past the 25 to the 26, a gain of five. Brandon, you know how many times we've done games, and at the start of the fourth quarter, we see both teams hold up the four fingers, four quarters, hours. Well, how about this drive? You saw the four fingers for four-minute offense, and this offensive line has really hunkered down and established themselves. Now, this is where they say, put the game on our shoulders, we'll lead the way, right? No doubt about it. And let me tell you, if you're a running back, all you want to do is get behind those big fellas, have a little vision, and find some space. And a solid way to do that on the first play of the drive there. Mahomes to throw on second down. That'll be caught. It's Tony. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. A first down there on a pickup of 25. And these guys certainly are not hiding what their intention is. They're absolutely showing it. They're definitely not going to sit on this lead here in the fourth quarter. So from inside Niner territory now, this is first and 10 at the 48-yard line. Mahomes going to leave it with Edwards Hilaire on the draw. And they'll get this just to the 47, one-yard gain. Now the objective there, I mean, yes, the positive gain, that's nice, but work some clock. Yeah, you're exactly right, but the problem for them is still within a possession, so they can't just sit on it running the ball. They'll have to find a way to throw it effectively as well. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So the Chiefs in possession of the ball as we welcome you back. They've got a second down now as they search for a way to get this one to the finish line. So second and nine, and you'd have to figure just about all 11 probably crashing the line here. They run it with Pacheco from the gun, and he'll go down shy of the 40 at the 41. And now right out of the two-minute break, we'll get a timeout used defensively with a minute 56 to go. This is a big third down, and you'd have to think we'd see a timeout right away if they can't stop him here. They'll run again, and he won't be close to a first down as he runs into a wall right around the line of scrimmage. Now San Francisco going to call their second timeout. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. And here's a big one now. Try to hold this lead. They're going to go for it here on fourth down. Back to throw. Mahomes. That is caught. And he will have a Chiefs first down. And that's the one that should seal the victory.
And they take a knee. by Pacheco on second down. And he'll be marked down at the 26 with a gain of seven. I like the call there because that was one to take time off the clock and get them closer to getting out of here with a W. In the mind of the play caller, all you want to hear is tick, tick, tick. for this one final knee to put a bow on this title bound. That is likely the final play of this game and no better feeling I would imagine than taking a knee to wrap up the Super Bowl. Culminates everything. The championship is theirs. And just think, the last play they had in practice before this game began was doing this. Practicing taking a knee and winning a Super Bowl. And they get to do just that. And the Kansas City Chiefs are the Super Bowl champions. And their remarkable season ends in the most remarkable of ways. They get to put next to their name, Super Bowl champion. And they can't ever take that away, can they? Nope. That lasts forever. So good to see the emotion when it's all said and done. You see the hugs, you see the guys sharing the collective happiness. Makes me want to carry you around a little <laughs> bit on my shoulders to celebrate the triumph. And congratulations to them, a fantastic season. champs the Lombardi trophy is theirs and so are bragging rights for an entire season what a season it has been feels like we have been there every step of the way our entire crew doing a wonderful job thanks to my broadcast partner Charles Davis for all those guys I'm Brandon Gunn 